guys, Cindy R here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Guess what time it is? It's time for Crazy 8. And, um, again, I'm going to use the deck of cards, uh, oops, again this month because I really enjoy, I really enjoyed what the, pay, how the page turned out last month. Let's see if I can find it. It is right here. This was last month's. I had a great time doing it. It was a lot of fun. So let's get some cards for this month. Well, maybe I'll do this so it doesn't come over on the other pages. This is our page that I just have to leave. Let me get it out of the way for right now. And we are going to pick our cards. Um, I've shuffled these and let me just show you guys that I have shuffled them. Uh, and then I'm just going to randomly, whoops, randomly pick um, cards. Sound like a good idea? I think so. All right, so let's see what we've got here today. Let's see, I'm going to start with a red one. Paint with your eyes closed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's one. Uh, let's go blue. I have no idea if there's any difference. Probably not. Add a punched or die cut image. Let's see, three. Add one piece of ephemera. Uh, let's spread them out. That is three. Four, make splats and drops. Uh, I'm just, doesn't matter. Five is this one. Turn your work upside down. One, two, three, or five. Six is this one. Add watercolor. Seven is this one. Use non-dominant hand. Oh, great. I get to paint with my eyes closed with my non-dominant hand. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. All right. Let's see what we're going to do. We are going to do mar make marks with a found object. All right, so I'm just going to put these back together, and we're going to put these in order. Let's put these back where they belong. Okay, so here is our cards for this month. Hmm. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add watercolor. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'm going to paint with my eyes closed using my non-dominant hand. So those two are going to kind of go together. Mm -mm. I'm going to turn my work upside down. This is kind of strange because now all this stuff is going to end up... No, let's do this. Let's turn it upside down and then make splashes and drips. That's a good idea. So we're going to add a piece of ephemera, we're going to add a die cut, we're going to make marks with found objects, I'm going to turn it upside down and make splats. Yay! How's that sound? So I got these off to the side here, let's grab our book, uh, give me a couple minutes, I want to just get a few things together. Um, start out with add watercolor and then this I'll have to get my paint whatever I'm going to use and actually when I start out this this is considered a watercolor paint um, I found these in where was I I don't think it was Michael's I uh, Hobby Lobby maybe I don't know I can't remember where I found them but I saw these watercolors they're by folk art and it says watercolor acrylic paint, turquoise and ultramarine. These are two colors that I like to use. So I'm going to play a little bit with these when it says to add watercolor because I really want to see what these will do. I've played just a touch with one of them and it was eh, okay. But I want to play more with this one as well. So we're going to do the watercolor first and then I'm going to use paint on top of that to... Um, to paint with, you know, um, paint and with my non-dominant hand. So give me a second. I want to get my ephemera out. I want to find some die cuts. Um, I got to make some marks. So I got to find some mark making tools. And 
I'll be right back. We'll get this pony started. All right, guys, so I pulled just some stuff out, random stuff, and we'll see how we can put it together. All right, I just put these in a pile in the order we're going to do them. So we're going to start out by adding watercolor. All right, let me just set this right in front of me. So, like I said, I want to try these. Um, and basically what they say to do, and I don't understand why you have to have this one versus just plain acrylic. It says shake well, thin color with water, and apply as desired. Well, can't you just do that with acrylic paint too? I don't see why not. So, first we're going to start out with this teal. I'm going to put, I have a little, um, one of these sheets, a small one over here. I actually cut it down and leave it there for, um, I leave it there so that when I do paint, I, it's not right on my desk where I'm working. All right, so I took a little bit of both these paints. I'm gonna add some water to it, quite a bit. I think I got too much of the watercolor paint, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna put some water on my brush and now I'm just pulling some of that paint in as well. Um, it looks kind of clumpy. I mean, I need a little bit more water. All right, so we're gonna put some watercolor down. Ooh, that's kind of cool actually. You know what I wanna do? a little bit wet on wet and let's see what it does nothing all right so it looks like I'm gonna have to um, let the watercolor go where it needs to all right I'm grabbing some of this blue I'm gonna just put some of this blue in here yeah I know this really I don't think this is a watercolor brush but it's the one I grabbed so it's all good all right get all this water here let's see what we can do you know it it, it kind of resembles watercolor I just want to make sure I don't get it on the other page um, yeah it kind of resembles it but honestly I just rather get my watercolors out I think they have more pigment um, I think they lay better. Uh, they go where you want them to go. I don't know. This, eh. All right. Well, I'll be honest with you. Um, I probably will not buy any more of these. So, but it's okay. I'll just use it the way it is. Or, you know, maybe I'll put some, uh, some, what do you call it? I'll just use it as paint. Just use it as acrylic paint because basically it's acrylic watercolor is what they're saying. All right, so I've got my watercolor on there. Nothing crazy or specific. You saw what I just did. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this up, so I'll be right back. All right, as I was sitting here drying this, I thought, you know, I want a little bit more teal, and I want it a little bit brighter because it's very, very pale right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of more, a little bit of more. <laughs> Ah, boy, my grammar's good today. I'm going to take a little bit more of the teal or turquoise. What do they call it? Turquoise. Um, not sure what the difference is between turquoise and teal because I like them both. All right, and I'm just going to add some more here and there. Um, because this, this teal or turquoise is um, very, very light, which that's not a bad thing. Um, but I just want a little bit more of it. So I had to, um, it was dripping down into the spine, so I had to wipe that out, but that's okay. Get that white. Just kind of covering up the white, um, just because I'd like to see it as a completed page. It's just how I'm rolling today. I don't know what that little black thing was. All right, so I'm going to dry this real quick. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, yeah, mm, yeah. Like I said, I will probably just use these as paint. Um, I think I'll be a little bit happier with them. So, that's our first card, which was add watercolor. So I'm gonna flip that over, and let's see. We have paint with my eyes closed, 
and use a non-dominant hand. So I'm going to put those two together. I'm going to use some Dina Wakely um, acrylic paint. And let's see what we can do. So I'm going to paint with my non-dominant hand with my eyes closed. This should be interesting. So bear with me. I'm going to use this little brush, I think. Let me get it wet. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to close my eyes, and we're going to paint with my non-dominant hand. Oh, found the paint. Okay. Not what I've got. But... Ew, that's still wet. All right, so... Can't. I want to change it over to my right hand so bad, but I can't, so... Just painting, I guess, with my non-dominant hand. I don't think I have any more paint on there. Okay, so where's my paint again? Paint is over here somewhere. Not sure if I got any paint or not. I hope there's paint on there. Wish you guys could tell me. All right, let's try it one more time and then we are gonna be done with our painting. Yeah, there's paint there, so let's, let's go here. Yeah, there's paint there too. Oops, went off the page there. That must be, yep, that's my clip. All right. Okay, open in my eyes. Oh, yikes. Yeah, where'd all my teal go? <laughs> ay yeah, yay. yay. Can I fix it? I'm gonna fix it with my non or with my dominant hand. Non-dominant hand. Wow. Well, that's interesting. So I closed my eyes. I got a paint mess over on the other side. Um, I closed my eyes and I painted with my non-dominant hand. So we got rid of those two. Um, let me dry this real quick. Quick. Oh, I'm having such a problem with words today. I'm really sorry because that's what happens when you go to fibro fog. Your words just don't come out. Let me just dry it real quick. All right, so that's dry. All right, our next step, add one piece of ephemera. Well, I have this book, and please don't yell at me, because I find old books like this, I found it for a dollar. Okay, in a thrift shop. Look at this guy. He's got his, uh, he's from Jordanville, um, New York. But anyways, this is a book called um, Discipline. And this is the rules, I guess, from 1872 or whatever. But there's, there's nothing really in it that's important or, the, you know, the book itself. So I'm going to use a couple pages. And we are going to put down some ephemera. I don't know what I'm going to do with that other paint on my palette. Um, let's see. I always like to take this off because, eh, I'm not a big white space person, right? All right, so let's put down some ephemera. I'm going to use this, and this, and this. All right. I basically want words. So let's see, let's cover up some of this yellow and see what we can do. Huh, you know what, those watercolors, if you notice, they're not bleeding. Huh, that's interesting. Interesting to see. So apparently the acrylic watercolors are, um, apparently that wasn't wet, are permanent. That works. 
that works. I'm just gonna put it all over. That way I know I have I have glue somewhere. So I've um, just to let you guys know, I actually had uh, one of my subscribers ask me if I could do this in a live. And I'll be honest with you, I don't do lives. And it's not because, you know, um, I can't. That's not the reason. I just, I don't know. I feel so many people are doing lives. I just want to play. I don't want to have the responsibility of having to be somewhere at a certain place in time. I just want to play and record my videos and have fun. Um, that my videos, I don't. This is not for any type of monetary um, value as far as you know getting paid for it. I don't do that. This is my outlet of dealing with chronic pain. So. You know, I'm sorry if I don't do lives, you know, I hope you still watch the videos and just don't forget, you know, art is just to have fun, right? All right, so I added a piece. Oh, it said add one piece of ephemera. Uh-oh, I broke my rules. Sorry, guys. It's, it is added. There's nothing I can do about it now. What is that? Well, that's a thing from a paintbrush. All right, so... I reneged on that rule, so we added two pieces of, of ephemera instead of one. I didn't realize it said add one piece. All right, this one says add a punched or die cut image. And this is something I want to show you guys. There are days when I can't video, I can't tape. Let's see if I can get this in frame. So what I'll do is sometimes I just, I'll sit here and I just paint do use my jelly plate, right? And when I do that, after I do that, I have so many jelly plates that I take them and go through my die cutting machine. Um, I do have the electric, what do you call it, the traveler's bag there, the brown one. And, isn't she cute? I like her, but she's too small, not something bigger. Um, so I'll sit here on another day, some other day, I'll sit here and I'll just cut a bunch of jelly prints uh, out of the, with the die cutter machine. So just put one die cut down. That is a die cut. Oops. Alright, should we break the rule and use two? This is something I wish I knew how to um, store because I have all these die cuts. They're just thrown here in the drawer. And honestly, I don't know what I have in here. Well, that's cool. Nah, I'm not gonna put two. I'm gonna put one, like it says. All right. So that was just, you know, a little tip on the chronic pain area. All right, so we're gonna add one die cut, right? I'm not sure why I chose this one. Just because, I don't know, it's bigger. It's dark. Oh, I just like it. So let's get this added. Um, what I'm using is just matte medium. Just a liquid matte medium. And I'm just going to kind of put this right here. How's that sound? Let's start with the middle. We'll go out and make it fit however it wants to. That one's just not. Alright, there she is. I'm going to use a little bit more of this matte medium just to make sure it stays down. I try to do that in these books because honestly I, I rarely go back and look at them. Um, so I just, but I want to make sure everything is stays down. All right, so we added a punched or die cut image. All right, now we're going to make marks with found objects. This one's a little bit different. Um, I'm not going to use the normal, you know, bottle caps and that kind of stuff, right? I'm going to use this. This is film. It's something that I found at an antique shop. It's a little bit, one's a little bit, are they the same size? 
Oh, they're the same size. I have a little roll of it and I have a big roll of it. I was thinking they were different sizes, but so I cut two of them. Um, these are old films. I have no idea what's on them, but I'm just going to play. So I'm going to use these to make marks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got to get some paint down here. I want like a, how about a navy blue? Oops. Um, that's ocean. Lapis. I'd rather have like a navy. Hold on. I'm, right now I'm digging in my Dina Wakely paint drawer. Trying to find, uh, ocean's going to have to do. No, lapis. All right. This is going to have to do. Um, let me dry this really quick so I can actually start making marks and we'll be right back. All right, so I glued that down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paint. Um, this is Dina Wakely Lapis. Just because I couldn't find the darker blue. I know I have it in there somewhere, but... Oh, and it's... See, it's this tube is getting old, or older, I should say. So, you know, I'm glad to want to... Um, use it up. Just added a couple spritz of paint there, or I'm sorry, of water, because what I want to do in order to make these marks is I just want to get the paint, the paint just out there so I can make the marks. Honestly, just so you know, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. But I'm going to try it. Why not? And, you know, that's something I'm going to encourage you guys to do. If you think of something and you're like, oh, that'd be a neat idea. Oh, I wonder if it works. Don't get on Facebook and ask people. Just try it. Just try it. So I'm just going to put this film edge down and see if it works. Yeah, I guess some kind of mark. Now I'm going to take it and make it... Can I spiral it? Let's see if it'll let me spiral it a little bit. Oh, let's try that. It might make it a little bit thicker. Oh, not so much. This is cool. I didn't think this was going to work, to be honest with you. So this is my found object that I found, like I said, at a thrift store that I'm making marks with. Now I want to make a real tiny one, so let's cut this. That one's okay. Set that over there. And let's cut it. And let's see what other kind of marks we can make. Come on. What I want to do is I want to roll it with my fingers, but in order to do that, let's grab the tiny attacher. We're going to hook it together. All right, so now I have my holes. And actually, this is what I was thinking about doing, not going the other way, going this way. And seeing what kind of a mark it would make. I think if I had more control of it, use a little bit of water. And just to add more paint. I think if I had more control over it, um, it would be cooler designs. But you know what? This is how we learn and play with things. Right? All right, so that's not working as well as this way did. All right, so there's my found item to um, make marks with. Get my hands in the water here. Okay. Interesting. Not sure I liked it by rolling it. Just kind of looks like blobs, but hey, it's blobs. There you go. I'm actually going to... Alright. So now, we're going to go to the next one. Whoops. I get paint all over the cards. 
It says, oh, that was the make marks with found objects. Now that says jets. So I need another one. So that's saying more than one. Oh, where are my mark making tools? Let's see, what did I find in here? I'm just digging in my tools. This is found. <laughs> This is actually an inhaler tube. Um, it's okay. It's been used but washed. Um, it was in hot soapy water. So I took the tube out of it and I, I used it. My new inhalers don't come this way though. So I decided to hang on to this one. All right. So let's see what we can do to make more marks. You know, I probably should do it with a different color, but I'm not going to. Actually, I might. Hold on. Alright, let's get some of that. I saw some ocean in here. Let's use some of that because that looks like it's more on that line. So let's use the ocean. I'll grab another paintbrush. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. Don't know why, just because I could, I guess. Alright, there's that. And I'm going to use the top now. This is just going to be full of mark making. Oh, this page is just kind of crazy. It's a little bit of chaotic of everything, right? I don't know. It's just a little bit crazy. I got lots of mark makings. That's why I did too many mark makings. But I was having fun. So that's really all that matters. All right. So we did our mark makings. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to get this paint on another. Um, actually, I'm using a wipe off canvas, which is right here. So I'm going to get this paint onto there, and I'll come back, and we'll go to the next prompt. I'll be back. Okay, so this is pretty well dry. Oh, by the way, I'll show you my wipe-off canvas. So I just, whatever I have leftover colors, I'll just go ahead and um, paint them on this canvas, and it just sits here next to me, and I just keep adding to it. Eventually, maybe I'll do something with it. But All right, so... We did make marks with found objects, so that is done. What's next? Oh, turn our work upside down, so we can do that. That's easy enough. There you go, work is upside down. Don't know what difference it makes. Add splats and drips. So in order to do splats and drips, here's my splats and drips. All right, I've been... I don't really want to do the colors that I have on here right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use black. This is Traditions by Deco Art, and it's a carbon black. And the more I think about it, I'm just going to take it over here on my mat. Put some there, maybe a little bit more, if that works. And I'm going to wet it all down. That's one of the reasons I love this mat, this uh, oven liner, is because I can do all that and it just, just works. That's, I want it to drip. I need to be wetter than that. There we go. So I'm just kind of randomly, oops. That didn't even go on the page, did it? I'm just kind of randomly dripping. Not sure what I'm dripping, but I'm going to randomly put that right there. Alright, now i got to do some splats. There's my drips. You know, I'm not sure what the difference is between the drips and the... Well, I do know. So here's my splat. Let's see, I'm going to focus that right in this area, and then maybe right in this area. If 
Wow, this just looks like a mess. <laughs> Doesn't it? Hey, it's all good. I think I'm my last before I shut it up. I'm just going to throw a quick either word or some quotes on here or something like that. All right, so there's that. Now, I don't like this, so I'm going to take that away. Um, and I don't like this one, so I'm taking that away. This one's too big. Oh, see it stayed. There we go. All right, let's turn you back around. Oops. See, look what I did. I am so bad. There's my splatter. See, I got bigger ones. That's all right. I don't mind. Okay, so I'm going to dry this completely, then I'm going to find a word or a phrase to put on here, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, well, what I did <laughs> is I lifted it up when I was drying it and kind of let it run and do its thing. So this is the end of the Crazy 8, but I just can't, you know, I love it, but I can't leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple things. First thing I'm going to add is just a flower stem. couple of leaves all right um I think I'm going to take the whole inside of this and make it black now this is just the watered down black that I had over here um, I do have some of the just plain black paint which is right here which I can use and I'm just doing this to kind of bring it out a little bit, or I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm doing because I'm playing. This is not one of my favorite pages. I think I just way overdid it on the mark making, but hey, it's all good. It's practice. It's learning. It's having fun. It's playing. It's not being afraid of making a mess. Um, it's you know not being afraid of... Um, Oh my gosh, it didn't come out right. Uh, it's all right. It's all good. I don't like that, but um, i give a little bit more definition to this flower stem. I just figure something's got to, you know, come out of this round thing. And I think what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to um, outline it with Stabilo Pencil and get that back in because I think that would help bring this flower back out. Let me just dry it up. Some of it's going to take a few minutes to dry, which is fine. I'm not going to... I'm just drying it so if I stick my hand in it, it's not crazy and you know I just got thinking why don't we just use a white pen so yeah I've uh, pretty much changed the whole um, you know the concept of following props this marker is not gonna write for me let me see if I got a Posca one Posca let's see if this one works I don't hear the thing yet, do you? Ugh, there we go. Yeah, so like I said, I've pretty much um, killed the whole, you know, don't do anything else but your prompts on this one. And, you know, it's okay. Just do what feels right to you and what you enjoy doing. You know, you don't have to listen to everybody else and do it their way. Whoops, I went on the flower there. Um, you don't have to do it on, you know, their way. Just go ahead, do what makes you happy, and have fun with it. Right? That's what I'm doing. And then I also just um, typed out a little quote, and I'll show you that in a minute. Just kind of, kind of bring this back out a little bit. So that... 
It kind of shows. I'm going to have to go in with a baby wipe and take some of this off. So now I got white here. I don't want that. I'm going to kind of break these back up. It's kind of hard because a lot of these aren't bright to begin with. The, you know, the flower itself. So. Let's do what Cindy always does. First, I'm going to take care of that on that leaf and that. We got to use dots. So I'm basically just going to do this on the inside. And then I'm going to do black on the outside. So that's the inside. Now let's do black on the outside. That's another thing I like about having this pad here is I can just check and make sure my paint markers are working. Okay, it's um, this video is a little bit early. I'm doing it actually in March. And it's kind of the beginning. No, it's about the middle of March. Yeah, about the middle of March. My husband is outside um, mowing. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not, but I apologize if you do. Yeah, I can hear him, so hold on just a minute. All right, guys, I'm going to try to do this real quick. We have two and a half acres. You think he could go somewhere else and mow? No, he's mowing next to me. So I'm really sorry if that disturbs you guys, but I, there's nothing I can do. Um, let me do this. I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to do it with gesso because that's easier to do. I'm going to take some white gesso because I have, I typed out a little saying, and it's just what came to my head um, when I saw this, you know, this, um, page come together. So I'm going to show it to you and I'm just waiting this out so you can see it better, which is no big deal. All right. I can take some of this up too. Let's take, oh, all done. Let's take some of this up a little bit here and there. But I wanted you to be able to see um, the words and I think with that crazy background it's going to be kind of difficult so all right let me dry this up real quick last dry and then I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you the phrase and we will be all done all right so this is pretty dry um I have a little label maker here you can get them for like 20 bucks in Walmart and I actually ordered some different colored tapes offline uh, for the the um label maker and this is what I've got um, I'm going to try to do it one word at a time if I can you know I have done so much painting today and every time I've done it I forgot to put my art guard on isn't that awful so I'll be scrubbing my fingers tonight all right so here's my first word and I'll just put my phrase down always. Oh, I gotta cut off the beginning of that. Always. Believe. Flowers. You guys are probably wondering how I'm doing these upside down, but I can actually see through the tape um, when I'm cutting it. Always believe flowers. Bring. Joy. 
yeah, so I just wanted to put that phrase on there. Like I said, it just happened to pop out of my head when I was, um, you know, just looking at the page. So I'm just going to do a little... Just little tiny dots around my words. Nothing crazy. I just feel like when I stick a word on, I've got to do something around it. I don't know why, but I do. It just looks bare, doesn't it? Yeah, if you throw something like a little dot around it, it's just so much easier. It just, it look, to me it looks better. Alright, so always believe. Flowers bring joy. And like I said, this page was, it went a little bit farther than I, you know, than the prompt said. But I like the fact that it just ended up semi-complete. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the prompts in the description box below the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and don't forget to share on my artsy endeavors. I'd love to see what you do. All right, have a great day. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.